the problems with this rollout of the president's health care plan, as you might expect, are having a real political impact for this White House. We're seeing it now in our brand new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll. Our political director, Chief White House Correspondent Chuck Todd at the White House with more on that tonight. Chuck, good evening. Good evening, Brian. You know the expression, a pox on both your houses. Well, during the shutdown, the public clearly pointed the finger at just one proverbial house when it comes to Washington and government dysfunction, the Republicans. But the pox has spread, thanks to health care, to the doorstep of this place, the White House. President Obama, who has been battling various problems for months, from Syria to the budget, NSA, and health care, it all adds up to a public that is increasingly losing confidence in his leadership. The last thing the president thought he'd be doing today, this far into his second term. Hello, Boston! Using Boston as a backdrop to do something he's struggled to do for four years. Sell the public on health care reform. All of this is in place right now. It is working right now. But the health care rollout debacle is the latest in a growing list of leadership struggles that have dogged the president. The public had high hopes for his second term. His 52% job approval rating in our January poll was near an all-time high for him. But it didn't take long for things to go south. It began with the IRS Benghazi investigations on Capitol Hill. Then the still ongoing embarrassing Edward Snowden NSA leaks, raising questions about how much the president may or may not have known. In September, more of a slide because of the president's indecision on whether to attack Syria. And now, between the government shutdown and the bungled health care rollout, the president hit an all-time low, 42 percent, getting close to George W. Bush territory. He went from a high of 75 percent in 2002 to 39 percent at this same point in his second term. Obama biographer David Marinus sees a pattern. With President Obama, throughout his life, you see that he sort of works at a different timetable than everybody else. Sometimes he's ahead of the curve, sometimes he's behind the curve. He's rarely right at the curve. He's behind the curve right now, and, and the question is whether he can get back up. In the past, even when the president experienced a dip in his job rating, his personal likability never took a hit. This time, more folks view him negatively, 45 percent, than positively, 41 percent. The president's longtime confidant, David Axelrod, believes that drop is due to this appearance of detachment on issues like health care and NSA. I think he needs to step up his visibility uh, on these questions. I have no doubt he's doing it internally uh, because I know how he operates. But the public needs to see that, and I think that's what's driving some of those personal ratings down. You know, and they keep saying that he's unaware of certain things. The one that strikes me the most, though, is, is the health care because... People would ask me during his first term, what is he going to do in the second term? And I kept saying, well, health care is it. You know, it's his whole thing. You know, all of this Washington mess, Brian, has created a crisis in confidence in the country. Seventy percent believe we're off on the wrong track. Those are numbers that are usually seen during an economic downturn. Instead, this signals a political depression. And Congress, it's grown more unpopular. Seventy-four percent believe Congress contributes to problems. That only 17 percent believes Congress works to actually solve problems. And then the old idea that people like their own congressman better than all of Congress, well, not in this poll, Brian. 63 percent would prefer to give a new person a chance to represent them over their own member. Chuck Todd with Where Things Stand Tonight from the White House Lawn. Chuck, 